Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. Another 7 Days to Die video here in Alpha 20 and today we're going to be testing fall damage. I typically do one of these every time a new alpha comes out into stable and this is to help you guys figure out your character and how high they can fall before they start taking any kind of damage. Now my specific character, I'm in level 12 but I haven't put any points on anything. I've got no clothing on that could help with fall damage just to kind of help with the heat because I'm over here in the desert. All my skill points are still at the defaults and I have no books read besides this one spear hunter here that I found, uh, that's going to actually help me out with any kind of fall damage testing. Now, I have tested multiple times before. It doesn't matter what particular kind of surface you fall onto, whether it's dirt, sand, concrete, rubble, whatever like that, it does the same amount of fall damage. So I'm testing it over here in the desert just for due diligence. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go up one block at a time, walk off, hit the ground, see when I start taking damage. And then I'll see how high I can go before I start getting a sprain. And then I'll see how high I can go before I start getting a break. I can reset that just by going into God mode and then flying back up there. But uh, I'll save a whole lot of the back and forth of falling because I'm going to test everything multiple times before we get started. So, like, eh, we'll start off right up here. See, I have it marked at 10, 20, and 30 just to start with. I know you can't go higher than 30 before you start breaking a leg. So, we have this one at 1, 2, and 3. We'll start off right here. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here and walk off free fall to the ground. Okay? Took no damage. So what I'll do is I'll try it a couple times just to make sure. Now, typically a three fall block isn't even as high as what some of the rooftops are. Okay, so we can say at three blocks, we are good to go. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll test it over here at five blocks, do the same thing, see if we get any damage at all. Okay, that one's getting real close to the line here. I can tell just by how much I'm falling. Let's see here, five again. Okay, so five seems to be okay. Now what we'll do, all right, so that's three times. Let me go ahead and just in case here, because I know I'm turning off God mode, but just to give it a chance for the message to move away so that nobody thinks that's affecting it. All right. All right, so we took four falls at five blocks and didn't take any damage at all. So what we'll do is we'll put one over here at six blocks and see if we notice a difference from that one. We're starting to get pretty high. This one's higher than most of the single story houses. So let's see here. Okay, so first jump at six blocks didn't do anything. Try it over here at six blocks again. All right. And again, I'm just walking off. I'm not jumping because jumping would basically be going up a block. Test it one more time. All right. Six blocks up. So we took no damage at all. So what we'll do now is we'll just continue to go up until we start taking some sort of damage and see where we are from that. Okay. Seven blocks up. We took damage and we got our first sprain. So what I'm going to do now is God mode to heal it back up and try it again to see if it does the same thing or not. Seven blocks. Okay, we did take damage at seven blocks. Obviously a sprain is going to be one of those random things, whether it does or does not actually happen. Same thing with a break, but I want to test it a few times just to see. So seven blocks up still. Okay, so we're taking just a little bit of damage here. So from seven blocks up, you can take a fall. You're probably going to take just a smidge of damage and you may sprain a leg. I want to do this several more times just to make sure that you don't get any breaks from here because the sprain will heal on its own over time as long as you don't jump and climb over things. But a break requires some additional work. Okay, so seven blocks up seems like it's going to be the chance to get a sprain is a little bit lower but you do take about the same amount of damage every time. Okay, well, let's go up to eight blocks here and see what we get on this one. Eight blocks. Okay, took 10 damage on that one. We didn't get a sprain or a break. We'll do this one several times just to see the odds of it giving us a sprain. Okay, so that one is a sprain as well. Sprains aren't too bad. They just take a little while to heal. Dealt with plenty of those. So we heal it with God mode again, just kind of reset it, get the message to go away, fall off again. Okay, another sprain. I'm just checking to see if you can possibly get a break from this high. Now, the entire purpose for testing this particular kind of thing is if you're doing base design and you're trying to figure out how high you can go and bail off before you start taking damage. Okay, so it seems like a sprain is not a guarantee at eight blocks either, but you are taking about 10 damage here. All right, so eight blocks up, we get a sprain sometimes, not all the time, but we do take about the same amount of damage each time. So we'll go up to nine blocks here and see what we get from this one. 
Okay, so that one straight up broke it. We need a cast or a splint to help out with that one. And we took about 30 damage, 26 damage. Okay, we'll heal that up again and we'll see if we do the same amount every single time. All right, so that one wasn't too bad. We only took 13 damage since we didn't actually break anything that time. Okay, so we'll go up and just, we'll sit right here again at nine. Okay, we took about the same amount on that one. We took a 13, 14 damage on that one, but no breaks and no sprains on that one. Again, breaks and sprains are random. The higher you are, the more likely you are to get one. So we're just kind of testing that out to see. Okay, so you can get a sprain here as well as a break. It seems like it's kind of randomized here. It's not happening every single time. Okay, spraying on that one, same amount of damage as a break. Get it all nice and cleared up again. Okay, and we got a sprain on that one. So it looks like from nine blocks up is about as high as you, or not, I'm sorry, seven blocks up is about as high as you can go and fall off before you start taking damage. So that's nine, eight, seven. Pick this one back up here. At seven is where I started taking damage. It wasn't a whole lot, but I did get a sprain from it there. But going down one more block over here at five, I think that's five. Hold on, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm pretty sure at six we were doing okay. So let's check this out and see if we did okay at six. Yeah, so at six we fell off several times before we started losing any kind of life and any kind of damage. At seven we started taking damage and started getting some sprains. And at eight blocks, I'm sorry, nine blocks is when we start getting breaks. So if you're trying to design a base where you can get in and out pretty quick, don't go higher than six blocks up and you can bail off without taking any damage. If you get up seven blocks, you have a chance for getting some sprains. When you get up to nine blocks, you start getting a chance for some breaks as well as sprains and you start taking some more damage. Going up higher is kind of pointless because, well, you're just going to take more damage and increase the amount of time or the amount of damage that you're going to take and the likelihood of breaking a leg. Okay, so now I want to test this out using hay bales. If you've been playing Seven Days to Die for any amount of time, you'll know that hay bales will prevent fall damage if you land directly on them. We've tested this before, but we're going to see if it's actually changed or not. So I have to change my count up a little bit since we are starting one block higher before we're hitting. So what we'll do is we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now, if you remember at seven blocks without the hay bale, is when we start taking damage. So let's see if it still does at least mitigate some of the damage here. Seven blocks. Okay, that's good. We'll test it one more time just to make sure it's not a fluke. Seven blocks onto hay bales. Okay, we're good to go there. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and just bump this up straight to 10 blocks and see if we notice anything at 10 blocks and if we need to go down from there. So this is 10 blocks up with hay bales. Okay, nice. No damage there. We'll test it twice again just to make sure it's not a fluke. Wait for the missions to go away. Okay, good to go on that one. All right, so we'll go up a little bit higher now. So that's 10, 11, 12. We'll go up just sets of two at a time here, and then we'll kind of fine-tune it as we get a little bit closer. All right, so here's from 12 blocks up. All right, still no damage. That's good. So at least the hay bales are working still. So 12, 14 getting into some high dive territory now and I will test this out with water when we're done too so if you're watching along and you're curious about that one because water dam uh, was water does minimize damage as well all right so 14 blocks up is good let's continue to go up so that's 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 blocks we're getting real scientific here. These kinds of videos is what really made my channel grow a long time ago. So I always enjoy doing these, giving some information to the community. So 16 blocks up onto hay. All right, still no damage. That's fantastic. So a simple hay bale works wonders. All right, so this one's at 18. Let's see if at 18 we start taking any damage. Nice. Okay, so hay bales are working really good. At one point, you could fall from the atmosphere onto hay bales and not take any damage at all. Then they nerfed that because they realized, hey, at some point, it's unrealistic, you know, with everything else. All right, so we are at 20 blocks up. You see, I'm one higher than that one because I have the hay bales down there. So 20 blocks up onto hay bales. Still no damage. Nice. We'll keep this going here. I'm going to have to increase the size of my tower a little bit. All right, so 22 blocks. No, let's not test that before we fall off. Okay, 22 blocks up on to hay bales. Okay, so if you have vertigo or fear of heights and falling, then this we're getting to this point of the video where you may want to avert your eyes a little bit. 
All right, so 22 blocks up, or this is 24 blocks up. Okay, we took our first amount of damage at 24 blocks up. I'll make sure that's right here. So there's 20. This would have been 20 right here with the new height change. One, two, three, four, and right there. Okay, so this would have been 20, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Okay, so let's see at 23 if we notice that as well. At 24 blocks, we took barely any damage. It was two damage here. Let's see at 23 blocks if we notice. Okay, so 23 blocks seems to be the threshold for as high as you can fall onto hay bales before you start taking any damage. We'll try it at 24 one more time just for due diligence in our testing. 24 blocks. Okay, so we took two damage. It doesn't seem like it's doing enough to potentially harm us at all, so that's good. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is fast forward a little bit. I'm going to put one right up here. This one will be at 30 blocks. This is the tip top of the tower. At this point, if you're making a base and you need to bail off 30 blocks or more, well, you're you're definitely living life in the danger zone. All right, so we took uh, nine damage on that one. Not too bad. He's huffing and puffing, but he didn't actually break or sprain anything. So I will test this height a couple times just to make sure that I don't get any kind of breaks or sprains. Okay, so so far two for two is not doing anything at all. That's pretty fantastic. Okay, all right, so we took a sprain at 30. It did a decent amount of damage. At that height, it treated it just like it did when we fell off of nine blocks. So to go from 30 blocks, you know, nine blocks to 30 is a pretty good size distance change for hay bales. Now we'll test this out with some water. So we made ourselves a swimming pool. Now and I made it ground level here. That way we can get an accurate amount of distance measured here. And I dug this hole, I don't know, probably eight or nine blocks deep. Uh, if you start falling up from the atmosphere, then yeah, you have to deal with how much deep the water is. But if you're just trying to find a bail off spot from your base, this should be plenty deep. You can see I'm all the way down here before I touch the ground. At that point, you're bailing off from way too high anyway. Okay, so I feel confident that this isn't going to do anything from 10 blocks up, so we'll just start there. 10 blocks up, directly into water. Okay, just as I expected, a nice soft cushion landing. Uh, let's see, we'll move it up to 20 blocks and see if it does anything, other than getting wet, of course, which is an entirely different problem. But 20 blocks up, into water and nothing. Now, water doesn't completely stop you instantly like a hay bale does, for instance. And so what would happen is, if you do take damage, chances are it's because you hit the bottom underneath. So let's try it from 30 blocks up and see, dead center. All right, so 30 blocks up, we are good to go. If I had only made the, now keep this in mind here, this is just test, testing how much it would work hitting water itself. I can't breathe here. Well, that's okay. If this was only two blocks deep with a you know one single puddle of water, you're not stopping yourself before you hit the ground. You're going to take similar fall damage as if you're just hitting the regular ground. So if you're planning on doing a waterfall, make sure that you have plenty of water to decelerate into. If not, then it's no different than just hitting the ground. It's not really slowing you down at all. All right, so let me extend this tower a little bit more and see what we can do with that. Okay, so I added a couple more here. We are going to start off at 40 blocks up and see if there's any difference from here. Obviously, we took damage even from the hay bale up here. Let's see if we can take any damage in the water from 40 blocks up. Bloop. Okay, 40 blocks up into our swimming pool and we are good to go. Let me pick up this so I don't bounce off of it on the way down from 50. If we don't take any damage from here, well, then we'll continue on upwards until we figure out what we do. So, water hole at 50 blocks and nothing nice okay so that's a pretty good sized pool i guess we need to go up a little bit higher okay 50 blocks is good to go let's try it at 60 and see where we are this is this is way up here we're getting at closer to the heights of like Deshong. now we got a ways to go here but we'll try it at 60 oh that's definitely this is like vegas level high dive into water here world record all right so 60 blocks up directly into water didn't do anything that's fantastic to see We'll try out at 70 blocks. I think if I get to 100 blocks and we're still not taking damage, then we're just going to have to fly up into the clouds and see what happens there. So 70 blocks up. Let's see what happens. Okay. Ooh, so we actually made it to the bottom, but we didn't take any damage. Okay. So 70. Wait, no, I'm sorry. That's... Is that 70? Yes. So 70 blocks up. We definitely decelerated all the way to the base of how deep my pool is. Now let's try it at 80 blocks. Again, at this point, is just trying to see if we take damage from hitting the water itself. 
Eventually, you will hit, take damage regardless of how deep the water is, but we want to see how deep that, or how high that needs to be here. Oh, okay. So, 80 blocks up, we died right away. That, <laughs> okay, maybe we need to scale it up slowly from 70. So I'm wondering, I'll have to double check, but I'm wondering if when I jumped off of 80 and took damage, if maybe I was too close to any of the walls and that's where it counted it. Because obviously it detects which block you run into. Okay, so 79, we didn't take any damage at all. Okay. That could have been what happened. We'll, tr we'll try it out. This is what scientific method's about, is trying some things out and testing it and hypothesizing. And if it doesn't work, then trying something different. Okay, scooch over just a smidge. Okay, so that had to have been what it was, is that I may have just been too close to a block. If you're coming down into water or hay bale and there's another block next to it, when you pass by that block, it will assume that the block that you're looking at landing on is the same as that block. So like when I had the hay bales here, if I put a ladder on there and I landed right next to it, the game would see me falling that high and landing on a ladder instead of the one hay bale and end up taking damage. I did test that in like alpha 17, I think. Okay, so 80 is safe as long as you don't get too close. At this point, we're, you know, our pool is getting a little bit smaller, but let's keep going up. Okay, we're going to start off at 100. If I can hit the water without taking any damage from here, then I don't have to worry about trying to test 90. Uh, this pool is getting very small here. Okay, so we need to hit, make sure we're right in the center of the pool. Okay, 100 blocks up, and we didn't take any damage at all. That's fantastic. Okay, so here's what I need to do now. I'm going to... Let me see. Make sure I'm flat ground. Okay, so let me see on the map what the elevation is. Elevation is I'm at plus 76 meters. So I need to go up much higher than that. So we're going to go up considerably high. I'm flying just straight up so we can see how high we can fall and land in water directly over the middle part of this here. I want to make sure if I'm falling directly down without making any kind of movement that I'm going to hit the center of the pool. Okay, so that looks like the center. If I'm looking straight down, that's dead center. All right, so we started off at plus 76. Let's go up a ways because 100 blocks up is plenty. At this point, you're bailing off the Deshong Tower or anything else higher. You're getting to the point now where you can't even really build any higher. Um, like I said, I think the maximum you can build in game is like 192. So we're only like 15 away from the maximum at this point. So let's go up to the maximum. Sure, we'll do it to 200 and see if you can die from here. All right, God mode off. We're just going to free fall. Nope. Time to go up higher. Okay, we're at 500 meters up now. This is well beyond anything you can build. You can see the entire map from up here. This this is just absurdity in its finest here. Our, our pool is a dot. We're basically diving into a pixel. And uh, here we go. Let's do some free falling, see how long it takes us to actually get down there. We probably reach terminal velocity at this point. Let's see. Okay, so 500 meters up, we went far enough into the water to die. <laughs> But I think we can safely say that you can jump off whatever you want to as long as the pool is five or six blocks deep and survive. Just don't try to jump from the atmosphere. Okay, I think we can safely say that having a fairly deep swimming pool here full of water, which by the way, water is a pain in the butt to use in this game. So getting it nice and full like this is going to be a challenge. But if that's the route you want to go and you know, put forth the effort, you can bail from the highest buildings in there and not take any damage as long as you don't hit the sides. But if you decide to go 500 meters up, higher than anything else in the map can possibly go, then you're taking life in your own hands. So that's going to be the extent of fall damage for the players. If there's enough interest in it and people want me to, I'll test out zombie fall damage because not much has changed, but a few things have. So anyway, I hope this video was useful. If it was, do me a favor and leave a like on it. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos. In the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later.